Time now to check in then on Kate Markgraf's best 11. She's nervously laughing in the background as we look at this. Uh, all right, so let's start in the back. Van Beenendal, sorry, Van Beenendal, the Dutch goalie. We've got Marjorie of France, Fisher of Sweden, and Lucy Bronze of England. We're playing a 3-5-2 here, uh, it looks like. Spitza and Henri giving you some defensive steal in midfield. Lavelle, Aslani, Diani, the playmakers. Megan Rapino and Ellen White up top in, uh, again, what is a very interesting, Kate, 3-5-2. I noticed there are 11 players on this All-11. There are only two American players, despite the fact that the U.S. won the tournament. Explain yourself. Well, first of all, the U.S. had to take the toughest path mm -hmm. to win a World Cup. They had to earn this one. They went through all the best competitors, with the exception of Germany, who actually wasn't that good when it came down to it when they showed up here in Paris. So to me, it was about who was able to perform on the big stage. And although France and England had some quality players, they didn't continue as far as, far as we might have thought they would have gone because they played the U.S. But in the end, Rose Lavelle mm. and Megan Rapino were the two standout players. Because, like I said, the United States didn't play 90 minutes of amazing soccer. They weren't the conclusive, this is the best team, right? These are the best players on a team. And sometimes the style worked and sometimes it didn't. But in the end, they had people that could capitalize on the big moments. And that's why they're in the best 11. Lavelle and Rapino score in the final. They make Kate's All-Tournament 11. <laughs> Julie, who from the U.S. team would you have added to this All-Tournament 11? Oh, from the U.S. team? Um, you know, I, I really loved, in, in watching her live, because you see, see much more of the field, of course, watching it uh, in, in stadium, Kelly O'Hara. I mean, she is someone we haven't talked a ton about because she hasn't had a ton of action on her side of the field because she's been so good. I mean, she shuts down plays and tackles people with a fury that is, you can hear it in the stands. You can hear it in the stadium when she comes in with her two feet. Um, so although I liked Crystal Dunn, I think she got into some uh, positional trouble uh, in this tournament. I actually, I think, I, I'm surprised, Kate, you only took three in the back, have sister. You seen, what about you your defenders? Defending? Where is that love? Have you seen the defending this tournament? <laughs> this is not a tournament for the Where ages. Where is that When it comes to people shutting teams down, it is a shambolic defending. In mm. fact, that what this goal, what this <laughs> tournament does have is good goalkeeping mm. compared to last tournament. And the reason why I didn't put O'Hara, you can talk to our producer, Mike, there were three positions yeah. I had question marks on. And it was bronze slash O'Hara. The difference is bronze can get forward and create. And she scored an unbelievable goal off a set yes. piece uh, in the knockout round. So that's the reason why bronze got in and ends up FIFA agreed with me because they gave her silver boot or silver ball, right? Mm -hmm. So... Alex Morgan gets uh, six goals in this tournament, but not good enough to make your All-11. Um, what's behind that decision? Why did, it seems like Ellen White was kind of the player that nudged her out. I think it comes down to where those goals came from and in what opponent those goal, goals were scored against. Alex Morgan scored five goals against Thailand. Remember that game? It was 13-0 United mm -hmm. States. It wasn't exactly a solid goalkeeping performance from the Thai, nor a solid back line. So she scored one goal from the run of play compared to Ellen White, who didn't score any goals off of set pieces, was creating opportunities by doing what she does best, which is sitting in between the two center backs. I thought she was England's best player. Mm, yeah, Ellen White, uh, certainly one of the stars for the Lionesses.